Hi guys, and welcome back to Bandcamp Draws. Uh, this video today, my second video upload to YouTube, is going to be me talking about applying values in black and white to line art. And this will not be a step-by-step -step tutorial per se, because in this vid, um, I have not recorded the cursor in Photoshop. So if you would want something like that, please let me know and I'll make sure to do that. This is more kind of like a cozy video where I'll go through, you know, talking about what I do and you'll be able to see it, of course. Um, and also, I'm going to take this opportunity to uh, answer some of the questions that I have gotten over my Instagram. Because, as I said in my previous video, I, I think it's better that, you know, I talk about it and I have a video to refer to when I get these questions because I do get quite many questions and some of them overlap and some of them are the same. So this is just mu much easier, not only for me, but for you too. So without further ado, let's see how I add value to this particular drawing that I have here on the screen. So let's get this bad boy started. So what I'm doing first here is I'm adding some some shadow and some highlights just very lightly with a very soft brush to you know show myself uh, how is the background going to look and it's very easy to create a dynamic background with very little and it sort of gives me a direction of where I'm going with the picture um, also in terms of where shadow and lighting is supposed to be and what I'm doing right now is adding that shadow um, as you can see the light is coming from her left side which is our right and I am trying to work that in I really find hair to be difficult for me sometimes because light get, gets caught in hair and uh, so it has a, a very different very you know dynamic life of its own actually okay so what I did there is I I turned down the opacity of the line art so I could see what I'm doing easier and adding in the, the values easier without me being disturbed by the line art. This is something that I didn't do when I started out with digital painting. I was very, you know, set in my line art and it turned out actually to be, for me anyway, a bit of a mistake because I couldn't really see where it was going with the, with the values and with the shadows. So don't get too fixated on that line art. Um, but yeah, now I'm just trying to refine the picture. Um, and also maybe this is a good opportunity to answer one of the questions that I got on Instagram in terms of what do I prefer? Do I prefer line art or, or adding color? And I think I'm still a line art person. Um, I think it's because it it goes really fast like you start out with a blank canvas and then you start adding that line art and you see results quicker uh, whereas you know drawing tends to you know it takes a while before or, I'm sorry coloring it takes a while before you can actually see what you're doing sometimes it looks like shit um, because you have to apply some sort of basic color first and it, it doesn't really look good or with line art, it looks good faster, I think. But I, I have started to, to fall a bit more in love with the art of coloring now that I've gotten a bit better at it, which of course makes sense. In terms of what I prefer, in terms of, you know, digital painting or drawing in hand, I think, <sighs> I really wanna say that I prefer drawing in hand um, because that is what I've done my whole life and, and I. I think it's really cozy, I like the craftsmanship of it, um, but I have started to fall for the digital painting. One word guys, the mess. The mess of sitting and painting with, you know, proper paint and ink and all of that, you know, when you have to clean up the mess afterwards. I hate cleaning up. I hate it. I hate making the mess, but I really don't like cleaning up. Um, and of course with digital drawing you know there's no mess you just work with it and um, I like that but I will probably never not draw by hand 
Um, and I think it's really important that you keep that skill set alive. And, and maybe you would wonder, like, don't you keep that skill set alive when, when, uh, when you draw digitally? And of course, there there is an element to it, um, especially if you have one of those tablets where you draw directly on the screen, which I, I have my iPad for that. But getting used to hitting the undo button and getting used to having layers, uh, it, it takes away some of that, um, you know, the excitement of drawing in hand where if you make a mistake, you have to erase it with your eraser or maybe it's not even op an option to make a mistake if you're drawing with, uh, with ink. And I kind of like that. And I think it's important that you get, you know, you practice being secure in your line art and don't get too used to just hitting that undo button. That is just, you know, my personal reference. Um, oh yeah, then I got a funny question about um, like how, how do I even get up in the morning when I work from home? Um, and you know, that is one of the pitfalls of being a freelance artist. Um, I really love making my own hours. I really do. But the self-discipline that you have to apply sometimes is, um, it can be difficult. And I, I do struggle with it. Um, some people look at my Instagram and they're like, oh my God, she draws every day and makes a daily upload. But it, it, it is a struggle. And besides those uploads, I still have my freelance jobs to take care of. And I also have a real <laughs> part-time job um, where uh, where I teach so you know getting all of that to fit together is difficult um, but one of the things that I found is really good for me working as a freelance artist is having a, a schedule and it was some of you know it was one of the things that I actually really liked about working freelance was that I didn't have a schedule I could just draw whenever I wanted to draw and that was really nice until I realized that I respond well to limits I respond well to having a schedule and I am more productive and actually right up there you can't see it maybe you can take it down actually um right here I above my desk I have a little schedule where I actually put in like, when am I going to work? When am I having lunch? Um, you know, I even put in breaks and it's just, it's just a small thing, but I found out that for me, it actually does work to, to look up at that and be like, okay, I'm off now. Now I need to take a break because I work in two ways if I don't have limits. And that is I, um, I either work too hard and I just power through and I forget to eat I forget to to drink water or I don't work at all <laughs> so this this is really good for me and I would highly recommend it to anyone who who finds it difficult to get out of bed in the morning or works at off hours because I do think that it's important to have a routine um so yeah, right now in the, in the drawing, I'm working on the face. And this is, I think this is my favorite part of drawing. I really like working with facial expressions um, when I'm doing character art, that is, of course. Um, I remember with this drawing, I had a little bit of difficulty with it. Um, I wanted her to look, you know, cute, but also also fierce and you know a bit wild that is a difficult expression to to nail down uh, but um, I don't even know if I did manage to to achieve what I wanted with it in the end but but it's always fun it's one of those things where you know you're kind of annoyed that you don't get it straight away but it's also fun to work with and you learn a lot from it um, but in terms of also what helps you get going, uh, 
when you're having one of those lazy days and you don't have a boss that you have to answer to and you don't have to be at work um and especially when you're you know very aware i don't have to do anything and the deadline is you know weeks into the future i actually made this you know method of fooling myself into believing that I'm not just sitting at home and I'm not just cozy right now, which is uh, I put on shoes. <laughs> um, it sounds really, really weird, but it, it works actually. It's like when I put on shoes, when I'm in that uh, I don't want to do anything mood, it, it fools my brain into thinking that I am, I am not at home because I would not wear shoes. I, I'm not even... I'm not wearing shoes right now, I'm wearing my pink socks. Um, but today it's not a problem, today I can be cozy and not be lazy because of it. But when I put on shoes, it feels like I'm more important, I don't know, I, don't, I, I can't even explain how it really works, but, but I, think, I think, you know, sometimes dressing up as if you were going to work or, you know, uh, um, putting on a little bit of makeup if you're a girl or if you're a guy you do you um, it, it just it, it gets you going because if you're in your you know night clothes and your pajamas all day long it it uh, it can go awry but uh, but yeah uh, this was just my you know value video and as you can see here you know, some of the stuff that I edited afterwards weren't in the video. Usually I will, you know, end my drawing a little bit before I'm actually done. And then I'll go back to it and then I'll add some, you know, details that you can see right here in the hair. And um, that really works for me, taking a step back as well. Um, and this is the final result. Maybe I'll put color on it at some point. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this teeny tiny video. And... Uh, Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know if you like me just talking about art life and what I do, what works for me, or if you want you know, more specific step-by-step -step tutorials. No matter what you tell me that you want, I will probably not stop just making cozy videos like this because it keeps me going and I think it's really fun. So, but anyway, subscribe and like um, and comment if you want to and I hope you have a great, awesome, very artistic day.